So, the Preserve Food Factory, what's it all about? I'm going to show you. So, you're going to find this facility up here, at the top of the map, just there. Now, obviously, this is going to be a production chain. So, you've got your production chain menu just there. You then got your loading in point just there. And then the pallet spawn point is right the way down the other end of the building. I mean, it's a big building. It looks good, mind you. It does look good. But yes, pallet spawn point is just there. So, what do we need to put in and how much money are we going to make out of it? So, first off, we need to buy this facility. So, we'll come around here and we'll go to the spanner just there. So, we'll click on that. This is going to cost you 110 grand. So, we'll buy that. Thank you very much. So we go into it. So we've got carrots, parsnips and beetroot. So 100 of each goes in and gives you 60 each of the preserved food coming out the other side. So fair enough. Recipe is all the same. Obviously, you've got to put the different crops in. So carrots, parsnips and red beet. That's what we need to put in. And it just so happens I've got three trailers here. <laughs> it's like I've planned it. But all right, fair enough. So I'm going to chuck all this stuff in and then we'll get cracking. Right, so I've got all my stuff in. Um, could turn it on. There we are. Turn those three on. Now they're going to do 240 cycles a month, but obviously that's only going to be per thing. So if you've got three on the go like we have got here, you're going to need to divide that by three. So what's that? 80, 80 16, 20, yeah, 80 cycles a month if you're running all three at the same time. So let's go all the way down the end. So it's running. We'll go and wait by the pallets for them to plop out. Now, obviously. It's not going to happen immediately. You're going to have to run through a bit of time. So, we'll wait here till they show up. Right, so they're all done and dusted. We've got some pallets out. And they come in a 2,000 litre pallet. Now, I have got the liftable pallet mod on. And they are still too heavy to pick up. So, you will need to use a forklift truck. But that being said, fair enough. I mean, you've got the preserved carrots there. Got preserved parsnips in that one, and then preserve red beet on that one. So, what's the money situation like? So, what I'm going to be using for this calculation is the fixed crop prices menu and also the sell everything container because, yes, just like the soup, you can sell these off there as well. So, first off, we've got red beets. So, for this, you're going to need 3,333 litres of red beets. So, if you'd have sold those off, you'd have made 1,250, but you'd have sold the pallet off for 4,996, giving you a profit of 3,746. Then got the preserved parsnips. So again, you'd have used 3,333 litres. You'd have sold those off as a crop for 1,403. You'd have sold this pallet for 4,766 and made a profit of 3,363. And we then got the preserved carrots. So again, same recipe, 3,333 litres of carrots. You'd have sold those off as a crop, 1,370. You'd have sold this pallet as 4,536. And you'd have made a profit of 3,166. So in the preserved food factory canning processing unit, whatever it's called, Carrots is the worst. I mean, the red beets is the one to go. I mean, that even beats out the triple soup. That's all right. That's all right indeed. So that's going to be the one to go for. Now, like the soup, I am going to try this out. I've got my auto load trailer just there. It worked with the soup. It does say in the shop it will work with these as well. So we're going to give it a go. If it works with one, it's going to work with all of them. So we'll put one just by the side of it. And once it goes in, we're laughing. Because if this works... You're golden. You don't need to forklift. Well, you will need to forklift chuck them if you've got like three. Because if you put like this trailer right by all three, it'll sort of like lose some of them. So just bear that in mind. But if you've just got one on the go, just pull your trailer by the side of it. You don't need to do it. And it's in. Oh, ace. Ace indeed. Straight in. Not a problem. See, really? One product on the go, you don't even need a forklift chuck. Oh, excellent. So drop in the comments below which product in this facility you're going to be using. We'll see what people are looking at. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.